no? in the world of television. But can you explain to us yung difference po as Miss Badoy as talent and Miss Badoy as the co-producer? Mr. President of the SMNI. I would like to defer the question to our consultant. Yes. If I may, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, wait. Uh, uh, sir, you're acting as what? I'm acting as uh, the consultant for broadcast operations now. Of you SMNI. are a consultant. Yes. So anything that you say here, you are authorizing, uh, Mr. President. Yes, Your Honor. Lalo po tayo dyan, ha? Mamaya sabihin nyo, may disclaimer na naman kayo dun sa consultant, ha? Okay, na hindi yan official position nyo. Sir. Mr. Chair? Okay po. Yes. Mr. Chair, uh, just Come very on. quickly, so just want to confirm, as a consultant... Um, who are you referring to? Uh, the, some... the one who volunteered to answer just yes. now. Si Mr. Sanchez. Jay, so, Jay ah, Mr. Sonza. Mr. Sonza. Okay. Mr. Hindi Chair? mo napapanood dyan? So, ano? So, Perhaps ten... not my time, Mr. Chair. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Th Apologies if I should have known. Okay. But, uh, Mr. Chair, may we ask you, Mr. Sons, uh, may we confirm that Mr. Sonsa, as consultant, has capacity to make management and executive decisions within the SMNI? Yes. A question. Uh, Mr. President, do you have that? Do you substantiate that uh, statement? Na may kapangyarihan po siya kasi ang opinion ho niya, importante kung... Yes, Mr. Chair. Bibigyan namin ang importansya yan. Apo. Yes, sige Mr. Po. Chair. Okay. Uh, yes, Thank yes you, daw. Yes, Thank you, Mr. Sonsa. Please uh, reply. Para lang po mal malinaw ano, sa takbo ng industriya, uh, na, ang status ni Ms. Badoy and Mr. Celis sa SMNI ay co-production. Yun ang pagkaka-relay sa akin. Ngayon, Sandali Mara. na po. Pakiklaro ho tayo. Apo. Yung pagkarelay sa akin, kailan siguro din ho natin? Kasi hindi ho natin pwede. Mr. President, ito ba ay talagang co-production? Yes, Mr. Chair. Co-production, okay. Mr. Sonsa, okay. co-production, okay. So, co-production, marami ho kasing klase ang co-production. Co-production ng gasto sa pagpuproduce ng show, co-production ng hatian sa benta, co-production na ang hawak lang ng network ay yung technical component plus the airtime at yung hawak ng co-producer ay yung content provision. Okay. From uh, itong sa kaso nila Mr. Celis at ni Ms. Badoy, ang responsibilidad ng SMNI, yung TOC, technical operations, at saka yung airtime. Okay. Uh, pagkatapos, Kung magkakabentahan, siguro magkakahatian. No? Pero wala namang benta sila, so walang hatiin. Ngayon, yung content, dahil sa interactive yung concept ng kanilang programa, tuloy-tuloy yung broadcast. Apo. However, kapag ka merong magkakamali sa broadcast, that is the time we will call their attention and if necessary, we impose the sanction. Okay. Okay. Now, Doon po sa tanong kanina ni Congressman uh, Toby Chanko, uh, binago na po natin yung grievance committee, gumawa na po tayo ng editorial board ngayon at saka ng ombudsman sa loob ng SMNI. So alimbawa, meron po ng observation, sila ang, em, ang MAD. O, tapos, magsasubmit sila ng complaint. Yan po ay asikasuhin ng editorial board. Katulad po ng nangyari kay Mr. Celis ngayon na sana ipapaliwanan ko kanina, nung uh, mangyari po yon imbestigahan. Kaya lang, naudlot yung investigasyon, gawa ng dito mismo, inamin niya na meron po siyang pagkakamali. That is why uh, sanction have to be imposed. And the, uh, we have now the official sanction which we can provide the committee with what, what the actions taken by SMNI in so far as Celis is concerned. Which is? Which is suspension. How long? Bigyan nyo na kami ng kopya, opo, pwede. Uh, can we have a copy, uh, Mr. J. Sonsa? Opo, opo. We Then, be... Mr. Sonsa. Opo. Hindi po, ilan, ilan taon na ba tumatakbo itong programa ni Eric at saka ni Doreen? Mga... May git two years na, no? Okay, may tanong may po ko. Opo. 
Kung yan ay co-production at ang oras, ilaw, ang airtime sa inyo. Opo. Ang talent, sila. Ang content. Kanina ang content, po. sila. Opo. At silang anchor. Co-production eh. Co-production. Doon tayo ha. Opo. Kasi marami, tama kayo, marami iba-iba co-production. Question. Two years na tumatakbo yung programa. Mm -hmm. Walang kita. Mm -hmm. Paano po sila? Kasi nga po ganito, yung konsepto nung... Paano sila nakakapag-tiis ng dalawang taon na wala silang benta, pero araw-araw banat sila ng banat? Yung banat po nila, hindi ko masasagot. Okay. Hindi, pero pag sabi nagkatrabaho po sila, yun po okay. ibig sabihin. Ngayon, doon po sa ano... Kung nagkatrabaho po sila. Kung titingnan po ninyo yung, yung konsepto ng pagtatayo ng SMNI, eh, talagang para sa bayan. Nagsagotin na po na, paano po nila nagagawa yun? Yun ang tanong ko. Kasi, it does not make sense. Opo. Co-prod. Si, co-prod, pero sa kanila oras, pag sinabi co-prod, hati eh. Oras sa kanila, Opo. ilaw, lahat sa inyo, mm -hmm. technical, sila talento, mm -hmm. at saka content. Yun lang. Opo. Okay? Kasi doon nga kayo nagkatago doon sa waiver, waiver eh. Alam ko naman kung sa kayo pupunta. Pero sige, let's lumunay sa issue ng coprod. Na pinapalabas nyo, coprod to, ergo, hindi namin sagutin kung anong sasabihin nila. Kasi coprod eh. Nagkatago kayo. Hmm. Hindi nyo tinawag black timer, hindi nyo tinawag iba. Ang sinabi nyo, coprod. Okay. Benta, hati. Two years, walang benta. Sila po, wala, wala po wala, sila. In short, wala sa income. Opa. Hindi po kaya pinapaswerdohan ng SMNI sila. Kaya nabubuhay sila mas kaya walang revenue. Sweldo, wala, wala akong alam na sweldo. Hindi. Oh, Kung Mr. honorario... Chair, de, de, can we, SMNI, can you please answer? Uh, sweldo Chair, ba sa inyo, hindi? Mr. Chair, point of clarification. Yes. 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 The Honorable, uh, yes. Before that, the Honorable Gomez was uh, wanted to be acknowledged. But before that, so may sweldo ba o hindi? Attorney, sagot lang muna. Talent fee, Mr. Chair. Meron. Talent fee, not okay. sweldo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, sagot, sagot uh, Per our co-production agreement, oh. and the copy of the co-production agreement is already with the committee, Mr. Chair. Okay, the Honorable Gomez and the Honorable J.J. Suarez. Mr. Chair, would it be possible that the, the President answer your questions? Okay. Kasi siya yung talaga na dapat nakaka-oversee ng lahat ng operations ng network. Hindi mo naman tinatapon sa consultant mo lang yun. Consultant, binibigyan ka lang ng tip ko ano pwede mong gawin. But, you know, if your day-to-day -day operations, it should be the person who should answer you. Yeah, he's the responsible yeah. person of that network. Thank you very much, uh, the Honorable Gomez. The Honorable J.J. Suarez. Yes, um, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Actually, I do share the sentiments of uh, uh, Representative Gomez regarding the um, who should be the one to answer. With respect lang dito kay Mr. Sonsa, Sir, uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, you're serving as consultant for SMNI. Um, yes, sir. Yes. Sir, when did you begin your consultancy with SMNI? Just recently, uh, Mr. Chairman. Just? Just recently. How long? How long ago, sir? <laughs> Mr. March 20, yeah. Okay, po? To be exact, March 20. March, March 20. Opo. March 20. Um, do you have any documents that would uh, attest yes. to your cons Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, can you please submit this? We to will submit it, Mr. Chairman. Submit it off before and the day ends. Huh? We, will. we will. Thank and you very much. And as consultant, Mr. Sonsak, will you be kind enough to share? Um, are you receiving any monetary benefits from SMNI? Are you? Yes, Mr. Chair. And would you be kind enough to um, detail to us uh, how much you're receiving as consultant? Uh, the record would speak for itself, Mr. Chairman. We Which will submit is, the record. Okay. Can you um, just uh, tell us, uh, since there's a record, just tell us. It's a sizable amount, Mr. Chairman. Which is? This is a million. How much? A million. Per? One million. Per month. Per Per month. Yes. Thank you very much. So if the documents are there, Mr. Sonsa, can you... Okay. Mr. Sonsa, since the documents are there, can you be... 
Silence is requested. The Honorable J.J. Suarez yes. has the floor. I think um, you referred to some documents that you were looking at, Mr. Sonsa. Can you please furnish the... Yes, we will. Yes, okay. Because Mr. Chairman. Um, I, we just wanted to determine whether uh, your consultancy and how long you have been a consultant. Because we've been having these hearings for the past three weeks at ngayon lang po kayo lumitaw kaya medyo nakakagulat po ang pagdalo ninyo sa committee ba. But nevertheless, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga ibinahagi ninyo. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Chair. Chair. J.J. Suarez. Mr. Chair. The Honorable Toby Jang. Again, with the indulgence of Congressman Gutierrez, um, kailan po nagsimula yung uh, grievance committee tsaka yung internal ombudsman ng uh, SMNI? President, Mr. President, kayo na po sumagot. Pagi ko, alam niyo naman po yan. Oh, Mr. President, why are you consulting the someone consultant. else? <laughs> the President is consulting the consultant. Okay. Uh, Mr. Proceed. Chair, yes. kasi yung transition period po, ngayon po ginawa namin ang grievance. Uh, gi po, gi okay. Anyway, Mr. President. So, Mr. Chair, so ngayon, um, for the record, ngayon lang po sisimulan yung grievance committee tsaka yung internal ombudsman. No. Oh, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yes po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, if I may. Na suspense si Eric kung na yun po binubuo yan. Hindi ba nakakapagtaka? Nagbubuo kayo ng wala pa kayong grupo, wala pa kayong formal structure, tapos wala kayong rules. Tapos, suspendin nyo na si Eric ng isang ano sabi niya? Isang buwan? Isang taon? Wala pa? Paano nyo, paano nyo ginawa yun? Actually po, Mr. Chair, nasa manual po yung grievance co uh, committee po oh, namin. Oh, pero tinatanong namin, alam po ninyo, hindi po tayo matatapos po kung hindi tayo magdiretsuhan. Sabi nyo kanina, wala. Nagbubuo pa kayo in transition. Pero may mga nasuspindi na kayo. Paano po yan? Paano yung nagagawa yan? Eh, mas kasi sa manual yan. Kung wala naman buhay yung manual, papel ho yan. Eh, no? Pero you all have to put life to that piece of paper, and you have not, and you've suspended it already, Ka Eric. So where's due process there? Mr. Chair, and no, no, there will be an NL, baka magkaroon NLRC question pa yan. No, yes, nung, tina, nung pong tinanong natin si um, Attorney Tolentino nun, ang sabi po niya, wala silang, uh, wala silang grievance, meron sila ethics board. Di ba kaya nga napunta doon sa sino ang composition ng ethics board? Tapos ngayon po, sinasabi nila na sa manual nila. Pero nung tinanong, nung sagot po nila last week, wala po sila noon. So alin po okay. ba talaga ang totoo doon? Kailan ba talaga nagsimula yung okay. grievance committee? Tsaka kailan po talaga nagsimula yung kanilang internal ombudsman? Okay. Mr. Chair. The veteran lawmaker is raising his hand. Thank you, Your Honor. To save. Attorney Rolex. Thank you, Your so Honor. Your Honor, we are, in the process, we are transitioning from the grievance committee to the ethics committee. In the case of Ka Eric uh, Selis, I understand that it's still the grievance committee. Now we have the, the members and the, uh, the constitution of the grievance committee, and they met. They met to uh, determine the case of uh, Ka Eric Selis. Okay. So anyway, Attorney Rolex, medyo uh, anyway. Mr. Sige. Chair, last na lang po. The Honorable Toby Janko, parang yung, yung hindi lagpas, ko maintindihan yun. Hindi, lag, lagpas 10 minutes na po. Yung kopya po nung sus, um, reprimand kay um, uh, Professor Badoy. Yes. Uh, may we have the copy of the, the copy. reprimand. 10 minutes has passed. We're supposed to, you're supposed to viber. Uh, Ma'am, Board of Director. Di ba, meron po kayo dapat i-submit. Yes po, we're follow up. Okay. Well, we will not, uh, ano ha, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yes, the Honorable uh, Joe Poy. Uh, wait. Mr. Chairman. Can, can Let's make it clear. The, the Honorable uh, Ramon Gutierrez still has the floor. Are you done? With your uh, Mr. Question? Chair, not yet, but I because could... Because you've uh, given way to everybody, but are you done? But then, man, Mr. Chair, my next line of questioning would be picking up from a previous question. So, okay lang naman, Mr. Chair. I okay. defer to the good... Yes, uh, because uh, we will have already to go for the vote na, of the uh, resolution. That's why I'm just allowing all of this discussion for clarity, so that uh, we will be clear as to uh, uh, how the members will vote in today's uh, hearing for the committee report. Though this has been approved, we're just talking about the committee report here. 
Yes, the Honorable Joe Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, can we request for a copy of the contract uh, that was uh, manifested earlier between, uh, they said it was two years ago, diba? Two years ago pa yung si Badoy and uh, Ka Eric. Can we have a copy of their contract, which started two years ago? Okay, can we have a copy of the, the employment contract or the co-production co contract or whatever contract you have with, uh, for this program? Yeah, because I, okay. I remember Badoy okay. was... Okay. Uh, but Can it was still with the... The contract, Mr. Chair, is already uh, with the committee, Mr. Chair. Oh, meron na po si Namit dito. No, iba yung andito. Because if if we will use this, sinasabi dito, nag-start yung contract nila is July... Oh, wait, where? Ngayon lang, 2023. And it is good for one year. So can we have the previous contract? Uh, Okay, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Attorney Tarantino. Okay, so oh, po. And when can they submit that? Can you please submit that already by, tom by, not by tomorrow? Okay, because Mr. Chair. You have tomorrow, to Mr. Chair. Okay? Can tomorrow, you? Tomorrow, Mr. Chair, we will submit that to the... Thank you very much. Chair. Okay. We will hold you to that. Uh, to We're listing down the two mga kailangan nyo submit. Ah. Okay. okay. Now, Mr. wait. The Honorable... Uh, can we now proceed to the proponent? Ah, wait. Uh, yes, the Honorable uh, Kimbo. Just a short manifestation, Mr. Chair. Um, the Manual of Operations had been um, repeatedly mentioned, um, but just um, for the record, um, so I'm looking at it now, um, supposedly based on the table of contents, it's supposed to have 221 pages, but what they had submitted is only 38 pages. Um, and uh, indeed, there are ethical principles which they are supposed to follow, which includes the handling of sources. Um, but there's nothing on suspension. There's nothing on penalties. So kung nasuspende si Mr. So Mr. Sellis, hindi natin alam kung ano ang ginamit na pasihan or rules. Okay. Yun lang po, Mr. Okay. Chair. Please take note of that. And, uh, uh, oh, Bakit may hinahawak si Mr. Sons na mas makapal na dokumento na yun? Ato, every time hihingin kami, may nilalabas kayo yung no, no, no. bagong uh, dokumento. I was supposed to submit this actually. Okay, can you please this, submit that now? Yeah. Come sec. Okay, that will answer the question. The, okay, now... The, yes. The See, copy of the... I think, let us understand. That's the, yes. So, let us uh, be clear, no? May, may tanong nga pala ako. Bakit ho kayo may hawak ng dokumento? Hindi ho si Presidente. Sino ang ah, inabuto sa inyo? Okay. okay. Katabi ko po yung corporate secretary. So okay. Yung... The corp sec is beside the consultant. Okay. If the corp sec was beside the president, then it would have been the president to ma manifest. Mr. Okay. Chair, para moving target itong ginagawa natin. Correct. That's why, alam po nyo, <laughs> yan yung problema pag peace meet eh. That's why hindi nyo natin araw. Lahat ang hihingi namin kailangan isubmit nyo agad before the next hearing. Kung hindi... You may have na like piece me the submission. Nyo. We don't have time to review this all these documents, especially voluminous as that. Yes, we now proceed. Can we now proceed? The, are you done already? Can we now move to the last question? Okay. Yes, Mr. Ramon, Chair. The Honorable Gutierrez has his final question. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, uh, as I was establishing earlier, with Before. the co which was mentioned, actually, yes. uh, I was moving towards that, properly elucidated by the good Chairman Tambunting, Questionable po yung uh, kanilang two years na wala palang kita, it is still continuing. So it begs a question like, why do we have this program? What is the strategic goal that is in mind? Is it to perpetuate this kind of content? Yung tanong po namin, Mr. Chair, uh, initially we'd think that this kind of program should be for profit and as their franchise is for profit. But Mr. Chair, so with that, I'd like to ask if the ComSec could briefly flash the resource uh, indicated by Kong Dan Fernandez earlier, yung expenses nila. So, Mr. Chair, uh, based on the expenses in SMNI, very clear, walang kita yun. And they said that with the COPROD, they are sponsoring the expenses of that program and talent fee po yung Correct. binibigay kay Ms. Badoy. Bakit po blanco yung talent fee natin dito? For 2022, which was at the time already... Yeah. And uh, aside from this, so Mr. Chair, two questions po, no? Kung may talent fees po talaga si Ms. Badoy and si Mr. Celis, bakit wala po dito sa financial statements nila? And now I would like to ask also, papasok ba ito sa legal and professional fees? 100,000 a month po yun, di ba? 
So 800,000 for the whole year of 2022. No, but it's uh, 100,000 each. 100,000 uh, each so, pa. Yeah. And then where are we going to see now the 1 million per month ni our good consultant? I have questions about the veracity of the documents they've been submitting. We have questions about the financial statements that they've been submitting. We have questions about their franchise. Mr. Chair, we see now this pattern of violations, section 4, section 10, 11, 12. Parang wala na nanggagawang tama. So, Mr. Chair, I actually still have questions on the GIS. Uh, fortunately for us, the Corpsec, Ms. Nupomoseno is here, but uh, in the spirit of uh, brevity, I will now concede. I will just question in the second round. So, I will now turn the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, the Honorable uh, Ramon Gutierrez. Now, for the uh, proponent of the uh, resolution, the Nor Honorable uh, Ms. Zograles. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So before we vote the, to approve the yes, resolution. She has the final, uh, this is the final one to before the vote. To approve the committee report based on the resolution as amended that we adopted last uh, hearing, no? which is to simply naman urge the NTC uh, to suspend the operations of SOARA, so based on its violations of their franchise, may I just ask, be allowed to ask some clarificatory questions? Yes, please. So this is to... Um, uh, please take note, uh, Attorney Tolentino, there are clarificatory questions to be asked by the Honorable uh, Mig Sugrales. So in our previous hearings, we already established that SOARA SOG is actually a monopoly. Kita naman po natin sa pie chart na nilabas po uh, of the Kingdom of Jesus. And um, as well with any of the lawyers, uh, it's part of your due diligence to know the membership of the major stockholder of your corporation, correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. May I know how many members uh, the Kingdom of Jesus um, has today? The, the Kingdom of... I am... It, no? I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair. I am the lawyer of SMNI, not the executive pastor. You just of the mentioned Kingdom earlier you, it's part of your due diligence, de ba? Sanabi mo may due diligence as every lawyer to I'll know the membership. I'll try to membership. answer, Mr. Chair, to the best of my knowledge, Mr. Chair. But to be honest, Mr. Mr. Chair, I have no personal knowledge to the number of members. But I know it's about mi more than millions, Mr. Chair. Okay. Well, I did my due diligence. So, meron naman po kami kayong website. Pakita po na lang natin yung screenshot ng website. Okay. Maybe we have the screenshot. So, it says in the screenshot of the website where Pastor Kibolo is there, no? You have 7 million worldwide, no? And congregations in Asia, North America, South and Central America, Europe, Africa, and Australia. Um, so, ang laki, 7 million followers worldwide, members worldwide, and uh, um, I, sobrang laki niyan. On what occasions, Mr. Chair, do uh, these members get together? Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, I am not a member of the church, so I have no personal knowledge. I am just a lawyer of SMNI, Mr. Chair. I am not the lawyer of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, but I admit, Mr. Chair, that Pastor Apollo Sikiboloy is my friend, Mr. Chair. Okay, since uh, dinidiin naman, uh, hindi niya sinasagot mm. po. Okay, um, so since dinidiin naman po yung corporation sold, dahil gusto niya tayong turuan noon. In 2006, when you converted from a non-stock corporation to a corporation sold, how many members would you have back then? How many members did you have back then? As a corporation sole, Mr. Chairman, from the word sole, there's only one person involved, Mr. Chair, holding the properties of the corporation as a trustee per Section 108 of the Mr. Chair, I'm asking code. about the members now. No, we have to understand. Uh, this is one person representing a, se a religious sector. A religious sector. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ilan, ilan yon? That's why, Mr. Chair, I have no personal knowledge with respect to the numbers, but I can give estimate, Mr. Chair, Which more is? than millions, Mr. Chair. Okay, more than millions. Seven million, more or less, but it includes also the sympathizers, Mr. Chair, worldwide, Mr. Chair. Okay, that's in 2006, correct? <laughs> yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, so let's just say, what's, what's two-thirds of seven million, Mr. Chair? Seven million, two-thirds? Yes. That's around four million. Uh, around four million, okay. Yes. Um, and when the, you amended your AOI from a non-stock to a corporation sole, were you 
able to convene these 4 million members from all around the world. Mr. Chair, uh, I'd like to manifest that there was no amendment from, <coughs> from stock to Corporation Seoul, Mr. Chair. For the record, Mr. Chair. Okay. Can we show na lang po the GIS that you, you, in your certificate of filing of amendment of articles of incorporation, did not, didn't you change from a, from your non-stock to a, a to a corporation soul? Na pa ulit ulit yung binibigyan ng, uh, ba? Nilalabas corporation soul, corporation soul. Ngayon, are you recanting? What is the good lawyer recanting now that he is? There's, there's no corporation soul. There's no amendment. Parang nililito po tayo, Mr. Chair. So I just can can we Attorney, I think that's clarify? a uh, misdeclaration. Your statement earlier with this document. So based on my personal knowledge, Mr. Chair. We're not no, no, asking. No, no, this no, is a document that you submitted. These are documents already. I mean, you know, uh, alam po niyo pag nagsabi yung atin na yun ay dokumento para maging tugma. Anyway, so. Kita naman po natin may dokumento na they submitted, no? Um, so, again, two-thirds of the membership, the up 7 million on an estimate, is 4 million. And now you're saying you don't know how they convened or whatsoever. Walang pictures of this milestone to have 4 million. It's such a big diba, event all over the world. So, may know the question, Mr. Chair? The do you question, have any proof? Do you have that any proof that you've you know, the membership? That is, all, that is an estimate, Mr. Chair. No, no, it, no. We're talking. We're talking of any proof that uh, you convened. Yes, because as stated here in your certificate of filing of amended articles of incorporation, which you submitted to the SEC and you submitted to Congress as part of your repertorial requirements on November eight, you got the vote of at least two thirds of the members of the corporation, right? Mr. Chair. Yes. And uh, this is to, 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 to uh, amend, to, to make uh, I am the, it a corporation. So, uh, Attorney. I only answer that, Mr. Chair, that I'm not the lawyer of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I'm the lawyer of SMNI, Mr. Chair. I have no personal knowledge about the kingdom of Jesus Christ, Mr. Chair. But I have a question. Don't you think you should have wor uh, some working knowledge about this since this you're representing SMNI of which... Uh, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the sole corporation, is part of, or majority of. I mean, how can you detach yourself from that argument, di ba? Na dapat hindi ko kayo pwede magtago ron eh. Kasi we do diligence yan. As a lawyer, you come here, you're supposed to come here prepared and have the answers. And you can't waste the time of all the resource persons, and including the members of Congress. Sorry for that, Mr. Chair. Yes, that's why, you know, if you keep on saying that you are not, I mean, you should, boss, third hearing na po natin to. You should be prepared to answer these questions already. Tapos, you, there's another lawyer that comes in just to deliver a letter. So, I mean, I, I don't understand. Uh, you have to be able to answer these questions. The question of the Honorable Nograles is, do you have any photo to show that the executive of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the sole corporation, convened? Because as per the amended articles, you did convene. Attorney Rolex, bakay kayo may sagot. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, sir. We have discussed this. When, it, when questions would touch on the... On the executive pastor of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name Abra, Above Every Name, Inc. Yes. We only have the certificate of filing of amended articles for 2023 and... The other one, yeah. The previous one, 20. Mr. Chair, since they 20, are uh, dodging. Uh, 22. Yes, yes, you still have the floor. Go ahead. You are, your Honor. We so are, are you able to answer the question? At we are about engaged it. only by SMNI, Your Honor. And later on, during but, the second hearing, uh, we agreed to be lawyers for uh, Ms. Badoy and Mr. Celis, but not for the executive pastor, Your Honor. This yes, but entity. you know, these are already amendments to the incorporation, the corporation that controls the SMNI. Now, hindi po dapat alam niyo ang sagot ito? Your Honor, how, can you, how, 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 can you, how can you say that you don't have working knowledge and come here and we talk about this? How can, how can there be an intelligent discussion with the resource persons? Mr. And Chair, how can you defend SMNI? 
Your Honor, if you do not know a basic question as far as this particular sole corporation. With your respect, Your Honor, we are called here to answer for uh, one, the alleged 1.8 billion uh, travel expenses expenditures of the speaker. Number two, the uh, uh, red tagging uh, allegedly made in a program in SMNI. Well, Mr. very Chair, good, Attorney Mr. Rolex. Chair, but I, I do not know, have I any knowledge on what happened in 2006 when but the vote was taken. Would you respect your honor? Mr. Chair, please. But, uh, attorney, get on up, Puyan. Uh, you also yes, called honor. here to defend SMNI. And in SMNI, there is a sole corporation of this nature. That's why we're just asking you, you cannot escape from the fact that this has to be part of your job to be able to justify their very existence. You cannot say that what ni po ko abogado niyan. Then, pwede niyo sabihin, lahat yan, di ako abogado except SMI. Ang problema, marami hong tao at maraming korporasyon ko kontrol ko sa SMI na eh. So, kailangan, hindi po dapat. I mean, if there was a reversal, kayo po nako po rito at ako po dyan, at ako po yung abogado, hindi ba dapat? Alam ko rin yan. Definitely, the view there is better than the view here, Your Honor. Thank you very much. At least we're, we're clear, Tony Rolex. <laughs> Mr. But you know, I once, we, I once sat over there for nine years. I know, and I used to watch you. <laughs> and I knew you would ask questions like this too. Okay? <laughs> At yung pinaparasot yung mga, yung mga resource persons pag hindi tama yung sagot. The Honorable Nograres. Mr. Chair, claro ko lang Thank po. Thank you, Your Honor. No, um, sanabi po kasi ni Attorney Suplico na they're being called here for, you know, this, ano, yung mga red tagging. Oh. Sa agenda A. Sa agenda B tayo, we're talking about the resolution here. Yes. To clarify lang po. And which you are still also the lawyers for uh, SMNI on this resolution, which is simply to urge NTC to suspend because of violations of your franchise, correct, Mr. Chair? Yes. Okay. So, iklaro po natin, let's not mislead right now what's happening. Hindi naman po ako yung nag-file nun. Pinag-uusapan natin ang resolution na final ko to urge NTC to suspend if we find na violations. Okay. And in any case, since they did not do their due diligence as lawyers, um, there is Section 114 of the Revised Corporation Code. And nandita naman din yung SEC na I can ask them questions if you cannot answer the questions of a major stockholder. SEC. Right. Oh, so um, are you addressing this now? Um, wait, wait, Attorney Tolentino. I am. Pwede bang tapusin po natin si Congressman Nograris? Di ho kayo pwede pumasok. Oh, yes, okay. Po kasi you, kanina, because Chair. you know, Kanina nagsasalta, puro hindi nyo alam. Ngayon naman na bibigyan nyo, ibabanda nyo sa iba, tatanungin nyo at papasok ulit kayo. Pwede bang tapusin muna ni Congressman Nograle? Congresswoman Nograle, yung line of questioning po Sorry niya. for that, Mr. Bago ko kayo pagbigyan, ha? So, yes, Honorable Nograle, para ho maging orderly yung proceeding at saka maintindihan ho natin yung issues. Honorable Nograle. So, Section 114 of the Revised Corporation Code, which embodies the rules for corporation soul since gusto naman po nila tayong turuan tungkol sa corporation soul, explicitly requires that at least two-thirds of the membership will give its written consent or has voted to incorporate at a duly convened meeting of the body. SEC, tama po ba, Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, SEC, please answer the question. That is correct, Mr. Chair. And even um, jurisprudence, Iglesia Evangelista versus Bishop Lazaro, GR number 184088, July 6, dated July 6, 2010, states, even an amendment as well requires two-thirds of its membership, the vote or the written consent of its membership that convenes for that sole purpose. SEC. Correct. That, that's correct, Mr. Chair. Okay. Dito po, makikita natin sa pag-file pa lang nila ng Certificate of Amendment of Articles. That's why I highlighted it. It says, two-thirds of the members of the corporation, which is not membership and violative of Section 114. Is this correct, uh, as, uh, Mr. Chair, to SEC? That appears to be the case, Mr. Chair. Yes. But, but of course, alam naman po natin, mandatory, I mean, May, may mga submissions in ang documents and you have to, SEC has to, um, uh, if nagbigay sila ng documents, kailangan naman pong, uh, di ba, uh, i-approve. Yes. Right? So, can we show na lang the next slide? Next slide, please. So, they have a trustee certificate which is notarized, no? Sworn. There's an oath there. 
Sabi naman po na na contradictory to the first page of the submission. This is attached to the uh, 2006 amendment. Meron naman silang two-thirds of the members in a special meeting called for that purpose and jointly held on November 8, 2006. Um, so I, I've been looking through the website. Wala mo nung po kasing pictures, walang anything. So if SMNI na lang po can furnish us a copy of a photo or proof of the notice, kasi 2006, wala pang, hindi pa pwede yung mga zoom-zoom pang ano, board meetings. So dapat, di ba, nakita yan, ha? magkasama-sama sila to, on November 8, specifically, especially for that, that they called the meeting. I'm really hoping SMNI would be able to uh, submit such documents or proof. Because if not, um, hindi po ba to SEC, this is grounds for cancellation because SEC. of fraud? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, any document that uh, appears to be fraudulent or, uh, fall, or contains a uh, false statement uh, submitted in support of a uh, filing of um, Articles of Incorporation or any amendment that constitutes fraud in the procurement and be maybe cancelled, Mr. Chair. So, mukhang kahit yung SEC, binibigan nila ng uh, iba-ibang requirements, I mean, the documents na contradictory to each other. Yes. The first statement on the first page of the D GIS, and mas malala, if they cannot prove this, Mr. Chair, this is already criminally, uh, this is a criminal offense for perjury because this is under oath. The same as the document submitted to us na iba po ang sinabit sa atin sa Kongreso, uh, na nalaman po natin today, and sa SEC, eh di po, uh, fraud po yun. Um, so, to clarify lang po then with SEC, para malaman po natin within the purview of SEC anong definition ng fraud, meron ko po kasi akong nabasang administrative case uh, number 03-15-173 um, on Nature's Garden Park versus Enforcement and Investor Protection de Department where you define fraud within the purview of SEC to be... Uh, fraud as actual or constructive. And in the same case, you mentioned that any material statement made by an incorporator in its articles of incorporation or amendment that in ter turns out to be falsehood um, would be considered fraudulent. And again, yung, yung fraudulent na to, regardless of the incorporator's intent or knowledge of such, such falsehood, correct? Mr. Chair. Yes, that, that's SEC. correct, Mr. Chair. Correct, Mr. Essentially, pag mag good faith na naman na argument, no, that they didn't know, they didn't comply, it's still going to fall as fraud within the definition of SEC. Correct? SEC. That's correct, Mr. Chair. Thank and you. fraud in submission nga, even if they say good faith, is a ground to cancel such amendment or certificate of registration. Correct? That's correct, Mr. Chair. Okay. Proceed. Um, may I ask, and um, with this uh, cancellation, no? uh, may I ask lang, um, NTC naman po, Mr. Chair. Please proceed. Um, for NTC, it is within the power of the NTC to issue certificate of public convenience for operation of communications of radio and television broadcasting system, correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. And corollary to this power and to your regulatory powers, does NTC also have the power to suspend such certificate, license, or permits? Proceed. If the violations are directly in not uh, are directly in violation of the CPC that the NTC issued, then the NTC may consider may consider your honor, but we take into account also the other jurisprudences on, uh, on, in, in light of this. Thank so, you. So, uh, essentially, Mr. Chair, I just want, we just want to clarify from NTC. If we see violations, now that we're seeing several violations within especially the franchise of Suarez Sub, and even if we dig deeper and see more violations, uh, does, uh, does NTC have the power to suspend while we're looking into violations at magkakaram kutukan po na lalabas po ang violations. Mr. Chair. 
uh, Your Honor, we will uh, we will be uh, evaluating very carefully the 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 resolutions and whatever that the this committee may may come up with to, and we take into account also the existing mandate that we have and the corresponding juris jurisprudence. Yes, simply here. that's why our resolution is to urge NTC, no. So to enlighten lang everyone, I suppose let's run through na lang po the violations. First, de ba yung ground naman po ng pag-urge natin sa NTC dahil may violations sila sa franchise. Um, klaro naman po kanina pa that we have next next slide please on their franchise which is RA one one four two two section four uh, must violated not to use the uh, station or facilities for dissemination or of deliberately false information or willful misrepresentation to the detriment of the public interest. Okay, next slide. Last meeting, of course, we established this with this whole con shift of the controlling interest. No, um, And again, this would hit another provision in their franchise which is on the next slide, section 10, which we have established that there is no prior approval on the transfer of the controlling interest. And then that's the first sentence of section 10. The next slide, please. There's also a violation on the requirement to report within uh, 60 days from the transfer of the controlling interest. Um, so, punta tayo sa, mukhang ngayon, dahil sa nakita natin, no, that the latest GIS statement that they submitted uh, to us is different, is different, uh, the one, 2021 po ba yun? 2021 GIS submitted to us on the reportorial requirement is different from the one that they submitted to um, SEC. Mukhang ngayon may violation na rin po sa section 12. Um, which, if I may direct this committee lang to section 12 on the repertorial requirements. Um, one, two. On the third paragraph, actually, the second paragraph, the annual report shall include an update on the rollout, development, operation, or expansion of business, audited financial statements, latest general information sheet officially submitted to SEC. So, bakit po iba ang sinabit sa atin at iba ang official sinabit po nila sa SEC? Certification of the NTC on the status of its permits and operations and an update on the dispersal of ownership undertaking if applicable. The next, pa the next paragraph, the reportorial compliance certificate issued by Congress shall be required before an application for permit, certificate, or any equivalent thereof is accepted by the NTC. So ngayon mukhang pumasok na meron na rin pong violation ng Section 12. Pero hindi pa po tayo tapos. Um, like... We showed earlier, uh, last hearing, next slide please, lalabas ko po ulit na lang yung pie chart, um, that essentially, 53.46% no, is the executive pastor, Phoebus Holdings is 46.22, eh, Phoebus Holdings naman, about 97% is owned by executive pastor na, di ba, nung 2022 naman, established natin na, Si Pastor po ang talagang may control naman. So, equivalently, may 98.37% na share talaga si Executive Pastor. So, but makikita po natin na ang um, cooperative na wala rin po doon sa kanilang franchise na ginawa nila to comply after 29 years of existence ay 0.19 lang po. Ang layo-layo ng 30% um, requirement nila to offer the public um, sa dispersal of ownership clause nila. And they only did this two years ago, after 29 years of existence, Mr. Chair. Diba, sinabi po naman, Mr. Chair, nila that they, were, they are complying and may good faith na naman. Pero, questionable na gusto pala nila comply 
eh, two years ago lang nila kinumply after 29 years of existence. Medyo, di ba, nakaka, ano, Mr. Chair, nakakapagduda, di ba? But even with that, we'll show the next slide. So, dahil hindi umabot sa 30%, meron violation on Section 11. Okay. More than even the franchise na kita natin, tuloy-tuloy yung mga violations nila. Even with the Constitution. Next slide, please. Because we've established that there's monopoly. Um, on Article 12, Section 19, the state shall regulate or prohibit monopolies when public interest so requires. No combinations in restraint of trade, of trade or unfair competition shall be allowed. Next slide. Hindi lang isa na violation and the highest law of the land, which is the Constitution, pati rin po ang Section 16, uh, Section 11, Article 16, that Congress shall regulate or prohibit monopolies in commercial mass media. Na mukhang tinatamaan na rin po na kailangan natin din tingnan to. Kaya nga, di ba, nakikita natin may mga violations. Not even with the Constitution. Let's also go to the KBP Broadcast Code which they only withdrew their membership on December 4, 2023. So they cannot now wash their hands and say that all other violations uh, that they did prior to that does not ap apply to them. So next slide. Article 1 of the KBP Broadcast Code on Section 3, Fairness and Objectivity. News reports shall be fair, factual, and objective. Okay, next slide. Meron din on Section 4 on new sources. The only news that can be attributed to a source shall be aired. News must be uh, clearly identified. You know, these, there are violations here na naklaro naman, di ba, na Mr. Chair, correct, um, na umami naman po na may mga violations at hindi nag-comply at hindi na-verify. Tama po, Mr. Chair. Not just Section 4. The next slide. Meron pa pong personal attacks na <laughs> bawal po na nalabas po naman nila Honorable Manuel and Honorable uh, Castro kanina po. Next slide. Meron din Article 5 naman kung sinasabi nila nagkakamali. Uh, when a mistake has been broadcast, um, it must be acknowledged and rectified as soon as possible. At ngayon nang sila nagsasabi ng sorry dahil nag-iimbestiga po tayo, parang... Bakit ganun po, di ba? Meron din, Article 13 ng KBP Broadcast Code. So, persons who regularly go on air shall be required to obtain accreditation. Okay. Some of the uh, SMNI hosts were not KBP accredited. Correct, Mr. Chair? Uh, ako nga po, hindi nga po ako KBP accredited. Sinasabi na dati po akong co-host, kaya, kaya nga po umalis. Kasi mukhang may mga violations tayong nakita. So, I can attest to that veracity na some hosts really are not accredited. Okay. Then we have another article sa KBP Broadcast Code, Article 33. The Universal Ethical Standards. Ang dami po kaya sa KBP Broadcast Code. Hindi lang po yun. Uh, Mr. Chair, meron din po sa sarili nating house rules. Para maklaro lang kung bakit, di ba, na side for contempt. Pakita po natin ang next slide. For sure naman, when the Honorable Pimentel and the Honorable Abante moved for uh, to cite uh, the two individuals for contempt, syempre mabigat yun sa loob. Pero trabaho din po natin na kailangan to maintain the integrity of um, this Honorable Committee of Congress ay... Uh, Pag may lumalabag sa batas at may lumalabag sa house rules natin, it is our duty to move for those para hindi tayo niloloko. Ayun eh, naman po din gusto natin, hindi tayo maloko po, di ba? And so, to emphasize that there are violations naman po talaga, which we cited, which the Honorable Congressman cited, which is Section 11C on refusal to answer any relevant inquiry, which today we also heard nga, yun naman, di ba? Yung dahilan kung bakit uh, na-cite in contempt po. And also, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee. And then, Next slide. Today, now we see maybe there's a violation again with SEC that SEC might should 
start looking into. Because merong hindi pagtutugma-tugma ang kanilang pagbibigay ng dokumento sa pag-apply ng kanilang amendment, that would be detrimental now to their pinangahawa kanilang corporation soul sila. Eh, kung mawalan sila ng certificate niyan, yung amendment to begin with, wala pala. Balik sila sa non-stock. So, mawawala yung argument nila. So, kailangan po ata talagang tingnan nila yan. And tingnan po rin ng SEC. Hindi lang po yung NTC na. No? And to, again, uh, the next slide, babalik ko, na may violation din sa revised corporation code. So, in the event then that there is that they find fraud in the amendment of AOI of of uh, the Kingdom of Je the Executive Kingdom of Jesus, no. Let's go back to the pie chart. Ano mangyayari? Di ba? Pareho pa rin yung numero kasi kung magiging non-stock sila babalik sila sa Kingdom of Jesus na hindi corporation soul at mas malala kasi non-stock sila. 98.37% pa rin. Kasi essentially the 53.46 and the 44.91 ay magiging kingdom of Jesus na non-stock. And obviously, di ba, monopolistic siya. Which is violative of so many things. So ngayon, with, uh, meron pa din po, next, na mukhang even the first hearing, we have established that meron a pending administrative case filed against SMNI for red tagging and misusing uh, of their platform. Um, tama po, uh, Mr. Chair sa NTC? Uh, There's a pending. Please um, reply to the inquiry of the Honorable Ograda. Yes, uh, yes, Your your Honor, Mr. Chair, there's a pending case on, I mean, case uh, with the Suarezug yeah. with the NTC. So, essentially, that's why we are urging, no, NTC to suspend muna, habang nakikita natin na mukhang niloloko-loko tayo dito. It's summary lang, para pakita po natin sa taong bayan ang mga violations that we have seen so far. Not just their franchise on Section 4, Section 10, Section 11, mukhang ngayon pati Section 12. Pati ang highest law of the land, ang Constitution natin, dalawang articles. Article 12 and Article 16. Even the KBP Broadcast Code, there are, art, there's Article 1, Article 4, Article 5, Article 9, Article 30, Article 33. Sarili nating house rules din. Kasi hindi nila sinasabi yung totoo. Meron tayong Section 11C and 11E sa House Rules natin. At mukhang ngayon, kahit po sa Revised Corporation Code, mukhang ganun. So, we're simply really urging NTC na mukhang nagkakalokohan dito kasi may mga fraudulent aspects dito. Um, sino pa ba ang next natin makikita ang manoloko? Sabi nga ni Attorney Mark, walang forever. Dahil po yun sa meron mga man luloko. At kung luloko kayin ka, di ba, dapat hindi ka nagsistay sa isang toxic situation. So ito na mukhang may panluloko at naluloko tayo, kaya nga may house rules. At di ba, at mukhang lumalabas pa konti-konti at nagda-dodge sila sa pagsasagot ng mga tanong pag hindi nila masagot, Mr. Chair. Ang nakakatakot, ay sino pa ba ang lolokohin kasi nila? Papayag po ba tayo na mandato natin to protect the people from misinformation, to protect people from people who are violating the laws? Papayag po ba tayo? Sana yung NTC, tingnan nyo yung mabuti to, na habang tinitingnan at inuungkat lahat ng mga violations, not just the franchise na makita nyo naman, paunti-unting may nakikita tayong mga violations. Sana po, ay suspindihin nyo muna habang tinitingnan natin lahat po ng mga violations na nangyayari. Yun ang naman po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, can I comment to that, Mr. Chair? There's no question, though, Mr. Chair. But <laughs> Wala po siyang uh, hinihinging uh, sagot sa kanyang sinabi. Attorney. But can I make a simple manifestation about, uh, hindi about forever or non-forever, 
It's about okay. the law. I'll give you one minute. Go ahead. It's about corporation soul, Mr. Chair. It's different from religious societies. Under the revised corporation code, corporation code is sec corporation soul is under section 108, 109, up to 113, Mr. Chair. Religious societies is article uh, section 114 of the revised uh, corporation code. Maybe the beautiful congresswoman. Huwag kang bumawi-bawi ngayon pagkatapos mo mag-post ng mga kung ano-ano tungkol sa akin na tawagin akong beautiful. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, just one, one the to one attorney to Lentino to Ay, have a proper decorum. You should address the chair. And you should not point out somebody, members of this committee in your manifestation or else. Yes. Mr. Chair, I'm still a question with you. After this, Sorry. when it comes to investigation, Mamaya, yung resolution niya, investigation, sasagot ka pa doon. Kaya ayos yung sir, may baka agahan mo yan. Sorry okay. for that, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Chair, kasi naman, like, klaro naman, di ba? I've not talked about anything personal. No. Let's not use this hearing to hit on personal. Sige, you can post on your page personal things, but let's not talk about this here because I'm not talking about it here naman. Um, and just to rebut na lang po, SEC, that's why I uh, said the case of the Iglesia Evangelista versus uh, Bishop Lazaro. Because that's a case that talked about corporation soul and its amendment and applicable nga ang pagpa-file at uh, applicable din sa kanila ang corporation sold ang 114 on religious societies of the two-thirds vote of membership. Correct po, Mr. Chair? Correct, Mr. Chair. So, he cannot say, again, a religious society nakasulat sa section 114 because I did my due diligence and I studied and came prepared to court today, to court to the hearing today. <laughs> uh, that there is an existing jurisprudence that explicitly already refers that Section 114 on the two-thirds vote of the membership is applicable to amendments of corporations to amend it to become a corporation sole. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, before we continue, I, I'm a, I already signed the uh, attendance sheet for the plenary. Uh, everyone here is uh, present in the uh, plenary. So now uh, we proceed. Mr. Yes, Chair. I think that's uh, very clear. Mr. Thank Chair. you very much, the Honorable Nogales, for the uh, Mr. Chair. for the, the rundown of the various violations. The Honorable Toby Chanko. Mr. Chair, I just want to follow up. If the written reprimand has been sent already, I think it's all. It's all yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, reprimand? It was always sent, uh, Mr. Chairman, through email. To whom? To the committee, Mr. Chairman. Can you please uh, pick it up sa ComSec? You might want to be able to pick it up. Are you sure? Are you sure it was sent already? Uh, we will verify it, Mr. Chair. Okay. Because we're going to pick it up now. So, because Honorable Toby Chanko does not want to uh, let go of that uh, particular uh, document because of his line of questioning in the second round. Thank you. So, okay. So, and there are no other questions to be asked by the uh, member. Now. Mr. Chair? Not, Attorney Domingo. Yes, uh, with your permission, because uh, Congressman uh, Nugrales mentioned about the NTC case. Yes. And uh, we are actually handling that, Your Honor. And yes. one of the prayers, just to amplify and echo the uh, resolution, we have a prayer for the cease and desist of similar broadcasts of SMNI on this matter. So that might be a good way of uh, segueing on that as well, Your Honor. Just uh, a matter of uh, information, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Attorney Domingo. Okay, that being said. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, no, no, yes. Oh, sorry, Mr. Chair, are we, if we are concluded with the uh, yes, questioning, we are. I would like to make a motion, Mr. Chair. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chair. Uh, I mo may I move, if the sponsor is so minded, to amend the House Resolution again, 1499, to be amended to include the last whereas clause to read as follows. Which is? Whereas the mandatory requirements in Section 10 and 11 are distinct and separate from the annual report required to be submitted by the franchisee under Section 12, 
the mere inclusion of any change in ownership in the annual report is not the compliance contemplated by the aforementioned sections. Considering that the grantee is operating a business that requires 100% Filipino ownership and any change thereof requires scrutiny by Congress in order to protect public interest. Mr. Chair. That is a specific amendment. So you're, ad you're amending by addition. Addition, Mr. Chair. By addition. You're not deleting anything. You're not. Okay. A last where ask. Clause, There's Mr. a motion Chair. to amend the uh, bill of the Honorable, uh, uh, the resolution of the Honorable Nograres. Any second? Second. Amend the amendment by addition is hereby approved. Any other amendments? If there are no other amendments, the chair will entertain a motion for the approval of the committee report. Mr. Chair, uh, if I may be recognized, Mr. Chairman. Yes, the Honorable uh, uh, D. There being no other members who wish to give comments uh, regarding the said House resolution, I move that we approve said House resolution. There's Seconded, a, Mr. Chair. On, on which one? On the committee report. On the committee report. Yes. On there's, the committee report as amended, Mr. Chair. There's a motion by the Honorable uh, D. of uh, Isabella. Any second? Seconded, Mr. Chair. Oh, there's too many members that said second. But uh, the, the, the loudest would be the Honorable Aquino and the Honorable J.J. Suarez. Uh, duly seconded by the Honorable Aquino and the Honorable J.J. Suarez. Any objections? The Chair Hing Nan, House Resolution Number... 1499, as amended. as amended, is hereby approved. Uh, Mr. Chair. Honorable. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So since uh, tapos naman na po ang uh, pag-take on natin ng resolution and it has, uh, the committee report has been approved, uh, may run lang po akong uh, gustong ipaliwanag din regarding this. So I'm not uh, objecting to the a resolution. In fact, uh, tayo po ay natutuwa na dahil sa res resolution na na-file ni uh, Congresswoman Nograles ay nakatulong ito para mas mapag-usapan natin talaga ang mga uh, maraming violations at ang mga hindi tamang uh, ginagawa ng uh, SMNI. Uh, but uh, moving forward, Mr. Chair, uh, in our efforts against uh, fake news and disinformation, Ang uh, nais pong uh, isulong ng mga kabataan ay uh, ang consistency sa ating mga efforts. We have to go after all sources and we must have a clear goal through a holistic approach in combating these uh, social problems. Also, Mr. Chair, uh, we also need to ensure na yung mga individual din talaga na sila ang mga namuno sa ganitong mga maling uh, nangyayari ay mapanagot to the fullest extent of our loss. Finally, Mr. Chair, ang isang concern natin ay uh, with uh, the NTC that has a uh, record of blocking websites, for example, na yun din ay mga bahagi ng alternative media and people's organizations at ang basis din ng pagbablock sa mga ayon ay red tagging din mismo. Kaya with that, Mr. Chair, as a matter of principle, uh, I uh, abstain from uh, the committee report. Uh, notwithstanding yung mga layunin natin to combat fake news, red tagging, and disinformation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, we uh, uh, respect that. Uh, so, the Honorable, um, uh, there's a there's, yours is just a abstention. You're, you're manifesting that you are, um, your vote is abstention. Okay. Uh, on a uh, majority uh, vote with one uh, abstention, the committee report approving the uh, resolution, HR House Resolution Number 1499 as amended is hereby approved. I, I will suspend the session because there's another issue uh, that we will have to tackle, uh, which is the request of Ka. Eric, there's a letter in our possession uh, of uh, Ka Eric for furlough, and uh, the committee will have to uh, tackle this. Uh, so we will just suspend, and uh, we will ask the resource persons to uh, those that are not uh, part of this can already go, as this will already be a committee uh, action only. Uh, if uh, the request of uh, for humanitarian reasons. We will uh, grant the 
the request of the of Kai Eric. There's only one letter. Kai Sir, Eric. Wala po tayong sulat galing po kay Carl Lorraine. So, uh, we will now, uh, this session is hereby suspended. Chairman. Clarify lang sana, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Kasi, uh, the, the motion for reconsideration that was received by the Chairman, and of course this committee, came from Eric, Kai Eric. Yes. Wala po yung kay... Calorine. Calorine. Now, he will be represented by by Attorney Mark, and it is in line with the privileged speech of uh, Congressman yes. G.J. Suarez. Yes. So, tapos na tayo doon sa House Reza for Suspension, balik tayo doon sa inquiry ng AGB legislation. Just yes. to make it clear, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Kasi, Mr. Chairman, but of course, yung ibang mga resource person, pwede na nga mag-excuse. Okay din ako i-suspend. Pero I just want uh, to make it clear, Mr. Chairman, that the lawyer... And until now, until today, he still stand for Ka Eric and uh, Lorraine Badoy should be present. Kasi wala naman dito si Ka Eric. Kasi I have to to ask him. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so, Mr. Chairman, yeah, like can said, you assure me that Attorney Mark will be present? Yes, Attorney Thank you, Mark. Mr. Chairman. Uh, can we ask the lawyers of Ka Lorraine and Ka Eric to be Mr. present? Chairman. It is uh, for the best interest of your clients. Uh, who, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, we ask you, you're still lawyering for both, right? The Me manifestation. And Attorney Rolex, Mr. Chair. Kain dalawa. Yes, Mr. Chair. And also for SMNI, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay. I just would like to uh, again uh, inform you. No, we're already suspended. But wala pa ho yung email nyo. Nagantay kami ng email. Wala pa nito matating, ha? We just open. We just uh, check the email of uh, the house. Wala pa. So before we resume, sana nandyan na po, okay? So. Maraming salamat to the resource persons, the different government agencies that have no, uh, would, would not be needed for the uh, furlough of uh, Ka Eric. You are now excused. Thank you very much for coming and joining this uh, almost five hour uh, committee hearing. Maraming salamat po.